All right, welcome to this uh, Blender episode, which is going to be a bit different from my previous ones. I haven't done a uh, episode for a while. I'm going to do it soon, I think. Uh, but for this episode, I wanted to talk uh, about um, upgrading your computer. So it was by happenstance I found out that my motherboard actually supported started supporting Xeons. So my computer is kind of old; it's from 2012, and back then. When I bought it, it only supported i7s. So well, what I did when I upgraded the BIOS, um, I started hanging out on eBay and I found this guy in China who sold a lot of CPUs. So I found one that was 10 core. So this video is going to be like comparing my old i7 I bought with the computer. It's a i7 3820 4-core multi-threaded to 8 threads compared to this little weird package from all the way from China with which had a Xeon 10 core uh, with 20 threads uh, also worth mentioning is that like this uh, CPU was is for like gamers and yeah kind of content creators so it had a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz and boost to 3.8 so it's only 200 megahertz. I guess you could uh, like overclock it. I did it a couple of times. But uh, the Xeon is more for servers and workstations. So it has a base clock of like 2.8. And uh, But it boosts quite high. It boots to 3.6 gigahertz. So I don't know where, uh, where this CPU was used. If it was like a server or a workstation. But yeah. Uh, this video is gonna be when I be about upgrading it and comparing it in Blender, uh, not super scientifically, but so now we'll jump to the benchmark. I'm launching Blender and rendering the BMW scene with uh, the CPU, and uh, then I'm losing a clot sim, I'm baking it, uh, recording the times. And uh, now I'm baking a fluid sim. And to the right, you can see my cores and how many of them are used, like in the uh, lower right graph. And in the middle, there's like temperature and gigahertz and stuff like that. So it's just some overview to, uh, to see which uh, application is multi threaded. Uh, and now I'm testing some painting, loading some brushes and textures and stuff like that just to see. To get a base reading, this is my old 4 core i7. Uh, loading sculpt. Sculpt is always a pleasure, goes quickly, smooth, seems really optimized. And uh, yeah, and, and I'm launching After Effects, rendering just a scene, a uh, video, and a uh, media encoder. And uh, now I'm encoding with FFmpeg from the terminal, uh, or it's actually a command prompt in on Windows. And uh, yeah, and then I open Unreal, open a project. Then you can see it's multi-threaded, pretty good. And uh, then I'm building the project, so compiling shaders and baking lights. Uh, so yeah, just to get a base reading. And then I'm launching PUBG <laughs> to test this out. And as you can see, it's uh, using Unreal Engine, so it's pretty much multi-threaded. And now I'm removing my old CPU. The i7 3820. So I'm just unscrewing my water cooler block. Um, yeah, I think I dropped a screw or something. No. Um, so you just do it di diagonally. Uh, and here you can see my old CPU have a lot of thermal paste. Uh, maybe too much. And it's been a bit oxidized. Uh, opening the socket and uh, removing the old CPU. And uh, there's my new one, my Xeon. Looks much better, fresher. Uh, applying some thermal paste. I think I took too much, so uh, I'm gonna remove some and just spread it out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I have pretty much thermal paste. Better to have too much than too little. Uh, yeah, closing the socket once again with the new CPU, making sure everything is tight. Uh, and then uh, I place my uh, yeah, the CPU co cooler water block and uh, screwing diagonally again. 
so you tighten like uh, in a cross pattern so it so it's uh, the load is even and you don't bend the motherboard too much so yeah takes a bit of time uh, I'm booting it up for the first time so you're gonna see a bit of red lights uh, it's complaining that it's a new CPU so you have to uh, enter BIOS which I'm doing here you're checking out I got the CPU uh, order and uh, enabling um, a multi-thread and some turbo boost and uh, yeah saving and booting up Windows and it worked and here we can see all the uh, cores and threads, so it's 20 instead of 8, which is kind of insane to see for the first time. And uh, now I'm doing the same benchmark, but I'm um, comparing my Xeon versus my i7. And uh, as you can see, the render was 228%, so it was the biggest like benefit. And uh, clot and bake and fluid uh, wasn't that super much, but a bit improvement. Um, I'm painting again. It if it felt a bit snappier, at least when loading textures and icons. I don't know if it's multi-threader or not. I don't think so. And uh, baking was uh, sculpting was exactly the same. It seems so optimized, so it doesn't matter really if you have four core or ten. Uh, I'm launching After Effects. Not that big a difference. Video encoder was a uh, 134 percent boost. And FFmpeg was uh, on par with a 4-core. Actually, when I tried to use 20 threads, it complained that 16 is the maximum. So they seem to have a problem with multi-threading. Um, yeah, and I'm launching Unreal Engine once again. Opening a project was slower. Could be that one core with larger gigahertz is better. But uh, building the project was 142% uh, faster. And you can actually see all the cores used. The same thing with uh, PUBG, which is uh, using the Unreal Game Engine. It seems to utilize all the cores. And uh, yeah, <laughs> here I'm jumping out of the plane. And uh, actually this game I find a car 98 there and kill a guy. So yeah, the Xeon was better than the i3820. Very scientific. <laughs> So the final verdict is that, um, yeah, I think it's totally worth it. I bought this one for uh, 150 bucks, and uh, I think it was sold in the, when it was new in 2013 for like um, 1700 bucks. So it, uh, it's kind of kind of cheap way to get a lot of uh, threads, and uh, hopefully in the future we're gonna have uh, cycles where you can uh, render with CPU and GPU at the same time. But otherwise than that, like everything becomes a bit more snappier in the um, uh, operating system with the window manager and stuff like that. Um, and in Blender, the, you could see that I had like uh, more than two times faster rendering compared to my 4-core. So uh, I think it's totally worth it. You should totally check it out if you're not into buying an entirely new computer. And... Uh, yeah, it's good to recycle stuff, and uh, you can find. Uh, you should probably look up your motherboard first and see if you can use a Xeon. Um, it depends on the socket, and uh, then yeah, go out on eBay and start looking around for a new CPU. Um, yeah, I think that's that was it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, happy blending, and I'll be back with the uh, episode. Bye.